Hello siblings and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post three times a week, so I'm always putting out that content that you need this summer when you're bored, don't watch Netflix, watch my videos. That was the weirdest intro I've ever done. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing finances with Sydney McGee. I'm going to be teaching you guys all the things that they don't teach you in school, how I make money, how YouTubers make full living on YouTube, and all of the questions that you have been wondering. So grab a snack, I'm gonna grab my laptop, and let's get started. So we're just gonna hop right in and get down to it. How do YouTubers make money? 50% of my revenue comes from Google AdSense. So obviously, as you know, Google owns YouTube, and YouTube is a company I technically work for. So there are a lot of steps that you have to go through, and I started my YouTube channel back when I was 14, so that would be 2015, before they had all these new rules. So for me, I had only like 100 subscribers and I got processed and accepted for Google AdSense. You have to have a thousand subscribers, more than 4,000 public watch hours in the last 12 months. So that is actually really hard because getting 4,000 watch hours, you have to be getting a lot of views. But back when I got accepted, the only rule in making money was that you had to reach a hundred dollar threshold and that is still a rule to this day. Back when I started my YouTube channel, I had about 50,000 subscribers when I got my first YouTube paycheck, and it was in November of 2017, I believe, and I made $270. But then, the next month, in December, I made $5,000. So you're probably asking, how did you go from making $270 to $5,000 in one month? Well, I had a viral video, and since I was already approved for AdSense, ads were playing on that video, it was monetizable, and I was making money on it. There's a lot of things that go into it, including your CPM. So I'm just gonna read you the YouTube definition of what CPM is. Effective cost per mil, or estimated average gross revenue per thousand playbacks on which an ad was shown. Currently, as I'm looking right now on July 10th, 2019, my CPM is $10.80. So basically all that means is that I have a very loyal fan base because a lot of things can go into this uh, the higher your engagement is, the more comments you're getting, the more you're buying, and the more time that people are spending actually watching your ads and not just skipping them. So honestly, it's all thanks to you guys. You guys are what makes me more money. So keep watching the ads because I have bills to pay and things to do. <laughs> YouTube pays companies to put ads in my videos and then YouTube takes 55% of that revenue and I get to keep the rest. The only bad thing about being a YouTuber is that month to month it can be very, very high, like making $5,000 in one month, or very, very low by making, let's say, $1,200 a month. Which that may still seem like a lot, but when you have bills to pay and rent and all this stuff, it is not that much in the long run once you're in the real world and not just still in high school. So back in December when I had that viral video, I think it ended up getting like half a million views and at the time my high speed video was like 10,000 views. So obviously I was going to make a lot more money on that video. As well as the CPM was really really high on that video because everyone was watching the ads, they weren't clicking through them, I had really high engagement and it was a bunch of like new subscribers. So people think that subscribers equals money and technically it does because the more subscribers you have the more views you're going to get which equals more money. But views equal money, not subscribers. So some people get on YouTube and they buy like 10,000 subscribers and they make zero money because you have to have views to make money. So let's say I have a really, really good month and I have a couple viral videos. I'm obviously gonna make way more money because there's more people watching my ads than a month where I have very low views or I forget to post a bunch, then I'm not making as much money because people aren't viewing ads. But I feel like everyone has this idea that YouTubers are really, really rich and yeah, we do make a good income, but I am still considered not a very big YouTuber. I don't have millions of subscribers and getting hundreds of thousands of views on my videos. So honestly, I really don't make that much. I'd say I make about the same as a middle class person. Definitely am not up in the rich 1%, but I do make a good amount of money to live on. So you might be wondering, how can you start making money sooner on YouTube? Basically, you just gotta hit those requirements, get approved for AdSense, and then get your subscribers to watch those ads. So the other half of how I make my money is brand deals. I don't need my laptop for that. So brand deals, as you guys have seen, is when I talk about a brand for maybe 30 seconds up to like two minutes in a video and then they pay me. I actually do have a manager. I am managed by Void Influencers, 
which happens to be my brother and his business partner who managed me. So I technically have two managers. And how that works is when they give me a brand deal, they get 20% of that brand deal. And we both make money and we're both happy. Now, if you are a new YouTuber, please do not get caught up in those people who say that they need 30% of your ad revenue, 30% of your brand deals, and they need a contract for five years because those are scams. They're trying to rip you off because they know that you're gonna be successful soon and they wanna make more money. So go with a trusted manager who only takes 20%. So basically what my managers do is they email people all day and they set up deals with brands who reach out to me they reach out to brands they use brand deals from other influencers that they are managing and they put me in them together I do a brand deal and I get paid they take their percent and we're all happy my manager does not tell me what videos to make they don't tell me what videos to put ads on they don't tell me anything I still have complete creative freedom now Brand deals are very nice because they can make my revenue literally double, sometimes even triple in a month. If I want to get other brand deals on top of what my managers get me, I also spend some time DMing Instagram accounts, asking for free things or to do a collaboration. And a lot of times that'll go through and they'll just send me product and that's usually how I get my PR packages. Most of that is not paid. If it is paid, it's considered a brand deal. If it's free, it is just a PR package. I don't have to post, but I usually do anyway out of courtesy to the brand because I like them and I want to share it with you guys. So brands pay based on your subscribers or following count. There are some brands that do a view guarantee. So if a brand says, hey, this video has to get 50,000 views and you'll make this much money and you don't hit 50,000 views, then I'll have to make a second video with that brand and then I'll get paid. And the other type of brand deal is when they just say, oh, you have 330,000 subscribers. So based on that amount of subscribers, we're going to pay you this much, no matter what the views are. So if you can't tell already by this, this is a reason a lot of YouTubers don't have other jobs on the side because especially if you're making more than one video a week, it takes hours and hours to film and edit and then if it's a brand deal, you have to send it in usually a week before, get it approved, make changes, upload it, take it down, make changes, upload it, all that. So it is a lot of work, it's time consuming, but it is really fun and the fact that you get paid to do it is so awesome and I don't express this enough but thank you guys so so much because you're the reason that I make money and the reason that I get to live my dreams. So another thing that my manager does for me is get me on brand trips. I've only been on a few brand trips and a lot of them were actually with Void Influencers who is the company that manages me. Some management companies have been doing this. There's a couple that have been kind of coming up but it wasn't really a popular thing until the past like year or two. Having your actual management company take a bunch of people who are managed and and putting them on a trip together. So the way that brand trips work are a brand reaches out to you and they say, we're gonna cover all the costs and we kinda just want you to post. Some brands will make you sign a contract saying you have to do this many stories, this many YouTube videos, this many posts for a free trip. Or some brands will just say, hey, come and if you tag us, that's awesome. And of course, you're gonna feel obligated and tag them. So brand trips are basically designed to promote the brand and to be able to collaborate with other people who are like-minded. They may take a bunch of Instagrammers and YouTubers, throw them on a trip, then you all collab then you all grow and the brand also grows with you so it's a very creative idea because everyone wants to travel and everyone gets exposure it's a win-win for everyone so some things that they don't teach you in school there is no YouTube boot camp for this is how to pay taxes so the way that I do it is I hire an accountant because I know nothing about taxes it makes no sense to me yes I would save money if I did it myself but it's very time consuming and honestly worth the money just to pay someone to do it so basically how it works is any sort of camera equipment lighting anything that has to do with making videos is a tax write-off which basically means I'm not getting taxed for that. Anything that I'm putting in my videos, so let's say I go shopping and then I do a clothing haul for my YouTube channel, then all of that is considered a tax write-off. Tax write-offs are very, very important when you're running your own business because it can save you a lot of money that you'll have to be paying taxes on. Whenever you just work a typical like service job, they take the taxes out and then on tax day you could get a tax return. But when you have your own business, tax day is just a headache because that is actually when you are paying your taxes. So another tip that I have for money is saving. So I try to save a large portion of what I make in a month. So let's say like that one really good month I had where I made 5,000 in just AdSense, no brand deals or anything, just AdSense I made $5,000, I put probably three maybe four thousand dollars into savings i want to save as much as i can so i can make bigger purchases like currently i'm looking at buying a house because it's a really good investment and then the rest of that money will go into new camera equipment things for videos whatever it is that i need 
So a rule that I have for myself is to live within my means. Obviously, I don't ever want to go into debt, so I can't just be buying a brand new Tesla if I'm not making enough money to buy a brand new Tesla as well as be making the payments that I already have and to be able to be saving. When you're buying something really big, you have to be able to afford that plus everything you have. So for me, I have a budget of, I know that I have to pay my phone bill. Every month I get charged for my AMC pass to go see movies. I have to buy cat food, cat litter. And then I also am gonna need money to spend on videos. Right now I still live at home so I don't have to pay rent or mortgage or anything, but I'm looking at buying a house so I will have to start adding in a mortgage on top of all that. I would recommend that you get a job as soon as you can. Whatever the age that you feel like you can start working is, most likely 16, get a job as soon as possible. And also work as much as you can. Work, save all that money, save it for whether you need to buy a car, if you need to start paying your own phone bill, or if you wanna put it into a job that you wanna have in the future. So whether that's saving up for college so that you can be a doctor, engineer, astronaut, whatever you feel the desire to be, or that you can start putting into ideas for your own business, whether that is um, a clothing business, being a YouTuber, maybe being a filmmaker, photographer. There are a million and one businesses that you can have, so get a minimum wage job, save that money and put it towards that career. In conclusion, that is how I as a YouTuber make money, how this is considered my full-time career and how all that works. Hopefully this cleared some things up for you guys. And once again, I just wanna put it out there that I do not make YouTube videos strictly for the money. I made YouTube videos for a while before I even started making money and I really, really liked it, I enjoyed it, figured out it was what I was passionate about and then started working hard to be able to make a living off of it. Thanks, keep watching my videos and I will keep trying to make that really good content for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.